Hi, it's me again with Corel World Tips and Tricks. And somebody contacted me. And this is going to be a little short video, but there'll be two ways to do this. They wanted to make a rectangle one inch smaller or a half of an inch smaller, and then they're going to cut this out, kind of making frames and saving wood or something. Or I think they're going to rotate it, you know, on an angle, which would be pretty cool if you took that one and rotated it 90 degrees. Well, I got the number instead of the rectangle. Let's get rid of the number. Let's rotate it 90 degrees. Well, 45 degrees. And then did every one of them a little bit different. You'd have some, some sort of basket. So to do that, let's just erase. Well, let's just start all over. I'm going to take a rectangle. I held down the control button so it's perfect. I got my ratio locked. So I can just type in 16. What you could do is control D and make a duplicate and make the next one 15. And then control D, control D, control D. All those are a half of an inch apart because it's making the whole thing one inch smaller. Now you can do the exact same thing with the contour tool. Just open under effects, contour, contour. We're going to contour it seven times at a half of an inch. Because when it's contouring, it's contouring from the line to the line. So you're getting exactly the same effect. This is a little faster. But a lot of times you can do different things with the, the tool. And you can actually do percentages. So if you wanted it 10% smaller, you could do that. And these two came out exactly. Because I'm going to hit P. And they're right on top of each other. So that they did exactly the same thing. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.